Good evening. Fans of Coventry City Football Club are trying to come to terms with the reality that their team has been relegated to the fourth tier of English football for the first time in 54 years. Many are furious with the club's owner, Sisu, who have presided over the continued downward spiral. Kevin Reid reports. Another protest, another match at the Rico. But this time, Coventry simply had to win. George Thomas's goal gave them a glimmer of hope, but Charlton equalised and the 1-1 result sent Coventry down. We've just run out of games and, uh, you know, whilst it's majorly disappoint disappointing, it's not come up and surprised us and, uh, and we've, got to, we've got to move on and take it on the chin and rebuild. Just a fortnight ago, Coventry won the Checker Trade Trophy at Wembley and it's 30 years since they won the FA Cup under managers George Curtis and John Sillett. Today, Mr Sillett told me he'd sobbed yesterday when relegation was confirmed. Relegation to the fourth tier arguably takes Coventry to their lowest point in their 134-year history. And what would the great man Jimmy Hill be thinking? It was he who rocketed the club from those lower leagues into the top echelons of English football. Jimmy Hill? Oh dear, I mean, he would be absolutely devastated. As we all are, we're all devastated. A football club is it's for everyone and... Uh... Sometimes money can get in the way of that and it's, this is definitely the case with Sisu and uh, yeah, I think they, they do need to go really. I don't know if they're going to go down to non-league or if they're going to go back up to League One. In six matches now they've only lost the one in all competitions so I think there's, there is a glimmer of hope. The club now has to attract fans to matches against the likes of Accrington, Grimsby and Barnet. It will be difficult as they won't be reducing season ticket prices. Kevin Mead, BBC Midland.